So the, the reason why I ran into this was because marijuana doctors made a change to their website and they added like this JavaScript, these buttons. So like you can go press button one, button two, button three, and see the three different types of content every time you press the button. And I was concerned that, okay, does Google crawl that? Like, is Google going to click the button and read that content or is it just going to disappear? And so I was like, how do I know? Is there a way I can see how Google sees this page? Like have a crawler crawl this page and see if it sees the content. So I was like Googling how to test if Google sees your page or something like that. And so I ended up coming across this tool. It's called the search engine simulator. So just to give you an example, I know that the beta site for Chef's Warehouse is all JavaScript. So there's no content. So that's what I use to test it. And so you see now it says there's no words on the page, you know, no headers, because like how we talked about in the past, it looks for HTML elements first. And so it's clearly not finding any. If you want to see a page that works, I'll just do go and flow. So it'll tell you like what headings you have on your page, the links you have on your page, basically just tells you everything that's on there. That's a good question. I assume it does the first pass. That's what I think it does. It does that crawler first pass that immediately just looks for HTML on a page. It doesn't render. That's what I believe. And I think that's pretty good, honestly. I would say that Screaming Frog is your friend. You can check the box where they can render the code and stuff like that for you. And I would depend on that more than a tool we don't know much about and like the inner workings. It's a pretty, pretty good assumption that, you know, it's not rendering code. And again, it just depends on what you're trying to do, I guess. But in this right. case, if you're trying to see what the rendered page looks like, Screaming Frog can definitely render JavaScript. Nothing's going to be identical to Googlebot except for Googlebot. But I think Screaming Frog gets pretty close. My use case was to just see if a JavaScript element that was added to a page made content disappear, something super basic. And so this helped me in that regard. So overall, yeah, I'd probably use Screaming Frog, but it's good to know.